Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have square A, B, C, D. Points E and F are selected along C, A, C, and C, D and are connected by making a line, the segment E, F. Another line is drawn from a point labeled H on side B, D perpendicular to E, F such that this line divides the segment EF into two parts measuring 8 centimeters and 4 centimeters to point E and F respectively. The area of ABHGE is 133 square centimeters. Find the area of the region HDFG. But before that, may I request you to please like this video. And now you can pause for a moment and think of what solution that you may have about this problem. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we make a review of isosceles right triangle. So if you have an isosceles right triangle, then you have a right triangle wherein the two legs are congruent. And if we say that this is A, this should be also A. So if we try to find the hypotenuse, then we have the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of a square plus a square by using Pythagorean theorem. Then we have to simplify this by making this 2a square. So if we try to get the square root of 2a square, then the square root and the square cancels out for a, then we have a square root of 2. So now we conclude that for any isosceles right triangle, the hypotenuse is equal to a square root of 2 or the side is multiplied just multiplied by square root of 2. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to extend this line hg to a point on cd. And since these are vertical angles, this angle egh and this angle then these angles are congruent, which is also 90 degrees. And if you have here 4 centimeters, then you have here 4 centimeters also. This becomes an isosceles right triangle. And since these two sides are 4, then you have here 4 square root of 2. Okay, so next is we focus on triangle. EFC. If this is 8 centimeters and 4 centimeters, you have to add that to calculate the hypotenuse of this isosceles right triangle. So we have 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So if the hypotenuse is 12, then the side EC is equal to equal to 12 over square root of 2. So we just rationalize this square root of 2. Then we have this square root of 2 becomes 2 and this 12 divided by 2 becomes 6. So EC is equal to 6 square root of 2. Okay, so next thing is we make a review of the altitude on hypotenuse theorem. If you have a right triangle with legs A and B and hypotenuse C, then the altitude on hypotenuse is just the product of these two legs A and B divided by C. So in our case, the altitude on hypotenuse is equal to the product of the legs, which is 6 square root of 2 multiplied by 6 square root of 2 all over the hypotenuse, which is 12. So if you multiply the square root of 2, then this becomes 2. Then we just cancel out this 6 and 2 because that is 12. And we have this altitude to be 6 centimeters. Okay, so next is we project a line from the point C to D and connect this 
by a line and since c to this point is 2 square root of 2 then bh is actually also 2 square root of 2 okay so next thing that we have to do is we need to connect a line from point h to the side ac then we project that then this distance is also 2 square root of 2 okay so but this distance is actually s minus 2 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2 or simply s minus 8 square root of 2 Okay, so next thing is we need to project a line from this point E towards GH. So this is again I isosceles right triangle. So if this is 8, then this is also 8. Then this is 8 square root of 2. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to make an equation about the for the region A, B, H, G, E. And that is 133 equal to this area of the rectangle, which is 2 square root of 2 S plus this area of the trapezoid, which is 1 half times the height which is s minus 8 square root of 2 times the sum of the bases which is s plus 8 square root of 2 then you have to add also the area of the isosceles triangle which is 1 half times 8 times 8 this becomes 32 then you need to put that on the left hand side. So you have 133 minus 32 is equal to 101. Equal to 2 square root of 2 s plus 1 half times s square minus 8 square root of 2 square. Then that will become 101 is equal to 2 square root of 2 s plus one half times s square minus 128 then if you multiply 2 for the whole equation then you have 202 is equal to 4 square root of 2 s plus s square minus 128 then if you simplify that, you have s square plus 4 square root of 2 s minus 128 minus 202 equal to 0. Then you have s square plus 4 square root of 2 s minus 330 equal to 0. Okay, so next thing is we just need to solve this resulting quadratic equation. So this can be solved by quadratic formula. So S is equal to the negative of 4 square root of 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times the negative of 330 all over 2 times 1 then you have s is equal to negative 4 square root of 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 square times the square root of 2 square is equal to 32 then you have to add 1320 all over 2 and this becomes 1,352. But 1,352 can be written as 26 
square times 2. So we have s is equal to negative 4 square root of 2 plus or minus the square root of 26 square times 2 all over 2. And s is equal to negative 4 square root of 2 plus or minus 26 square root of 2 all over 2. But in this case, we will only use the positive solution because if we use the negative solution, then we will have a negative distance. And since there is no negative distance, it is invalid. So we have S is equal to negative 4 plus 26 is 22 square root of 2 all over 2. Then 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11 times square root of 2. So S is equal to 11 square root of 2 centimeters. Okay, so for the final step is we need to find the area of the blue region. And that is area is equal to the area of the whole square, which is 11 square root of 2 squared minus the area of the green region, which is 133 square centimeters minus the area of the unshaded part which is one half times six square root of two times six square root of two. Then these two cancels out, then this becomes 36. Then this becomes 121 times two or 242 minus 133 minus 36. So area is equal to 73 square centimeters and that is our answer for method one okay so for the second method is we need to focus on the unshaded part and for the unshaded part we need to get the area of this portion so to get the area of that portion we have to focus on triangle ecf and subtract this area of this small isosceles right triangle here. So we have one half times six square root of two times six square root of two. Then subtract one half times four times. So this gives us cancel this and you have thirty six. And this becomes 2 times 4, which is 8. So area is equal to 28 square centimeters. So, okay, so next step is we extend this side AB and this side HG until we form a small isosceles right triangle this should measure 2 square root of 2 also and same with this g from point g downwards and from this ec we extend that line and we form an isosceles right triangle so this becomes 2 square root of 2 this becomes also 2 square root of 2 then we need to find the area of those two small triangles then. We have area is equal to 2 times 1 half times the base times the height. So the base is 2 square root of 2 times 2 square root of 2. Then we have to answer this. And this becomes 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2. And that is 8 square centimeters. Next is we consider the fact that the area of that largest triangle is equal to area of the largest triangle is equal to 100 
33 plus 28 plus 4 plus 4 and that would be equal to 169 and now since we got the area of the largest triangle then we can calculate for the side of this largest triangle so area of this largest triangle to 169 one half times SLT square so 169 equal to SLT square we need to multiply this by 2 so SLT square is actually equal to 2 times 169 but if you take the square root of both sides, then you have SLT equal to square root of 2 times the square root of 169. This becomes 13 square root of 2. Next is we need to consider the fact that S of this smaller triangle is equal to SLT minus 2 square root of 2 S S is equal to but SLT is 13 square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2 S is equal to 11 square root of 2 okay, so for the final step is we are now ready to Calculate the area of the blue region and the blue region is equal to, and since we got this length BH here as 2 square root of 2 and the length as 11 square root of 2, then the area of this blue area with the small unshaded area is equal to one half times eleven square root of two minus two square root of two and you need to square this because it is the area of this isosceles right triangle. So and next is you subtract this area of the smaller isosceles right triangle and that is one half times four times four and that would become eight and this would become nine square root of two and if you multiply this by itself it to be nine square root of two then 9 square root of 2 times 9 square root of 2 times 1 half. Then simply consider this. Then you have 81. 81. Then this is 8. And minus 8. Then you have area is equal to 73 square centimeters. Same as the area that we got from the first method. Actually, there are many other solutions to solve this problem. Please just comment down below. And thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you, bye.